everybody. It's your girl Songbird and I am honored to welcome you guys to season three of Room 1002 Exclusives. When I tell y'all it means so much to me that you are still here tuning in, supporting what I'm doing and helping me showcase Atlanta's hottest up and coming artists and creatives. You guys, I want to start things off a little different this year by, of course, requesting that you guys subscribe to the channel, right? The whole purpose here is to showcase different talent around the city. But how can I do that if I'm not growing the audience? So I really want to encourage you guys to like and share these videos, subscribe to the channel, and show us some love, okay? If you're a business owner, you completely understand that even if you're putting your all into it, if your business isn't reaching the people, it's not really succeeding. So before we get into what's in this beautiful box here that, yes, I did create myself, um, I want to open us up with a prayer, you guys. I don't know if y'all know this about me or not, but I love the Lord. I've been working diligently to clean myself up and present myself as the best version I can back to the Lord. But I also understand that the strength, the perseverance, the skills, everything that I have came from God. So I just want to start there. So Father God, in the name of Jesus, I really just want to say thank you, not just for continuing to wake me up and continuing to push me toward my dreams, God, but for giving me the gift, the vision, the desire to begin with. I thank you, Lord, that I have a community of people who believe in me, a community of people who want to be a part of what I'm doing. And I thank you for every single person who has opened their hearts to me and let me tell their story to the world. God, I just pray that success comes from this show, not just monetarily, but that people are exposed to their proper customers, the right community for themselves, the right people who are going to be here to stand in their corners and support what they're doing. And I truly, truly pray that Room 1002 is beneficial to everyone that it comes in contact with. And it's in Jesus' name that I pray all these things. Amen. Whew. I'm sorry, y'all. That just that gave me some chills. <laughs> So listen, this box right here, I know you guys are like, what is this box? Well, for everyone who came to the anniversary party that we had um, a couple of months ago now, if you came to the anniversary party, then you know what this box is. It dawned on me, you know, like I'm always telling other people's stories. I'm always sharing my perspective and kind of, you know, coaching people into telling their own perspective. But this box was a way for me to allow people to kind of give that kindness back to me. So um, really, this was just like some handwritten messages from the people who came to the event, just giving me some encouragement, some love and light. And I thought, why not start the season by sharing these? Now, I want y'all to know it took everything in me not to read these. OK, I've had these in my room for over a month and y'all know me. I'm nosy. I like to talk. I'm like, what did they say? But I decided to wait it out. And I think that it's the perfect way to start the season just with some positivity, with some love and light. So let's get into it. All right, here we go. Now, if you said something mean to me, I'm not going to read the message. Just being honest. All right. This is from the one and only Willie Mack. Oh, goodness. <laughs> Willie, thank you. OK, it says Songbird. I am so proud of the moves you've been making. We've only known each other a short while, but it feels like we've been lifelong friends. Wow. I pray God continues to shine on you and elevate you to levels unimaginable. See you at the top. Willie back with a K. <laughs> wow, Willie, that was, wow. And I, and I do agree. It does feel like we've known each other for forever. And something tells me that one of these days we're going to figure out where we know each other from because I don't feel like this was my first time meeting you. But wow, that means a lot to me to know that in the short amount of time that we have known each other, an impact is made. All right. This one is from Hayes. Now, how did y'all's messages line up on top of each other? Y'all know it be from Broccoli. OK. Wow. It says you bring a light to those who need it. And that makes you a star. OK, so I said I wasn't going to cry and everything, but I think I am. So just just bear with me, y'all. Keep being you, Hayes. Hayes, I really appreciate that. And coming from somebody as authentic as you. Yeah, that means a lot. That means a whole lot to me. All right, y'all. Well, let's shake them up. Let's see what we got in here. All right. All right. 
This one is from Jazlyn, my girl, my moves move you. All right, it says, Bria, I'm beyond proud and so happy for all that you have accomplished and all that you will, in capital letters, accomplish. I still think back to our talk at Planet Fitness. <laughs> oh my goodness, how do you even remember that? <laughs> Everything is truly so divine and you are shining in purpose. I pray for your health, abundance, safety, and love. You are so deserving. Call me whenever. Let's hang out sometime. And I've got to get you on my show now. Y'all, my girl went and started her own show. That's what I'm talking about. Love you, beautiful Jaslyn Harris. Wow. I I probably should have prepped myself and made made sure these weren't going to make me cry because I didn't bring no extra makeup. So um, here we go. Martin, I love my guy Martin, y'all. It says, Bria, congrats on this outstanding event and new season to your show. I know God has many blessings for you. Thank you for always inviting me. Oh, you are welcome anywhere. I'm welcome. Martin Tompkins, so sweet. You guys, I feel like I'm getting like married and I'm reading all my like, All my special wedding cards. Okay, okay. Let me stop. I play too much. I really do. I really do play too much. Okay. Oh, this one is from Christian. My guy. I am so proud of you, Bria. Good job on everything you accomplished. This is just the tip of the iceberg. Continue with God by your side and you will never lose. And once again, going back to my prayer, like, we got to make sure we give God the glory, y'all. Like, we are nothing without God. I, and if you've convinced yourself that you are, I'm just going to move on to the next message. Mm-hmm. Oh, wow. I really wish I knew who this was from. Whoever this is, your handwriting sucks. Um, but I'm sure you'll know who you are when I read your message. <laughs> I'm sorry. I just want to give credit where it's due, but... You kind of made it impossible. It says, it's not enough words to describe how proud of you I am. This has been a whole vibe and divinely guided. You are such an authentic vibe and it is apparent today through this immortalized event. Something tells me that this is Taven. Taven, was this you? Comment and tell me if it was you. I don't know many people who use that word immortalized, but I appreciate you for saying that. Whoever you are, this is a really kind thing to say and... You know, just, you know, y'all, it took a lot for me to step out on faith and do room 1002. So it means a lot to me to even just read some of these messages. And, you know, just just before I even keep going, you know, at the event, I was telling JD and other people like, man, like everybody's kind of canceling. People aren't coming. And for a minute, I started to feel kind of down about it. Like, oh, man, I put all this hard work into it. People aren't coming, even though I work in events for my nine to five, my corporate job, and I know what attrition is, it just hits home when it's like your personal event. And, you know, reading these, you know, it's almost like, wow, like, like you kind of were slapping the people in the face who did show up by even having those thoughts. Like these people appreciate you. These people appreciate you and what you're doing. And man, I'm, I'm going to keep going before I just give y'all a whole sermon. Anywho. This one is from my very good friend, Jermaine. Jermaine, I'm really grateful to have you in my life and I'm so glad that you came out. It says, Bria, 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 with two exclamation marks. (laughs) I am so proud of you. Glory to God for reaching this amazing milestone. You are a perfect example of black excellence at its best. Whoa, that's, whoa, that is a heck of a compliment. Keep God number one and your foot on the industry's neck period y'all better not play with me this is this is amazing i i could really cry i really could cry this is from my phenomenal caterer culture cuisines if you guys were there make sure that you go show her some love uh follow her page and uh book her hello all right we want to make sure that we're actually supporting other businesses and it says culture cuisine was so happy to be a part of this event i pray your business continues to grow Thank you so much, sis. Kiki. Now, I just want to give y'all a quick little two second backstory. Me and Shaquilla Allen have known each other probably since like third grade. 
I want to say maybe before that, but I distinctly remember meeting her in elementary school. And I mean, we still have pictures to this day on Facebook of us looking busted and crusted in middle school and y'all better not go look for them. But yes, um, it was an honor to have you there to see you and your mom again, to know that you're doing well. And I'm grateful to have worked with you. So I really do hope that your business flourishes this year as well. Oh, okay. Okay. Carrie D in the building. Look, y'all know I love me some Carrie. Okay. Carrie is so creative. Like I remember meeting him and just being like, how are we the only two black people at this event? But it was a wonderful time. And Carrie is just like such a lighthearted guy. So let's see if he had anything heavy to say. It says, hey, Bria, it's been such a pleasure to witness your growth. I'm super proud to call you a colleague and a good friend. Cheers to your success and continued growth. Keep being strong, dope, and awesome. Much love to you, Carrie D. And then he put hashtag 1002 with another word that I'm not going to say because I'm turning over a new leaf. I don't cuss no more, y'all. I don't be doing them cuss words. Okay, Carrie, I don't be doing them. Can you try to set me up? Get me cussing on the camera. Uh-uh. Okay, now this one is from one of my favorite people ever, Ariane. Um, man, such a love, such a light. Girl, you're so talented. I really hope that nothing ever gets in your way of pushing forward, girl, because you, you set it off at that show, honey. We need to get those clips up, actually. I need the people to hear how well you tow up at my event. Don't worry, we got you, girl. But it says, congrats, love. Keep going, keep shining, keep living in your truth. I pray that God continues to bless you and what you are building. Thank you, Ariane. First of all, I wish I could zoom in on this handwriting, girl. When I have children, I want you to teach my kids how to how to write. This is amazing. No, but seriously, I'm sorry. I play too much. I have to keep it funny because otherwise y'all gonna make me cry. But I really appreciate you just from the time you came onto the show to now. I mean, you've grown so much. Like, I mean, I can tell that you truly discovered who, who you're meant to be. And I'm proud. I'm proud to be on the sidelines. All right, y'all. I think this is the last one. But I'm super excited to read it. Oh, wow. Okay, Jatara. <laughs> Love that. Okay, it says, Room 1002 has set the tone. Bria, you're so comfortable in yourself and in what you do. I admire your fast thinking, especially when you're interviewing and hosting. Room 1002 is flourishing, and I'm happy to be working with you. Jatara. Y'all... Jatara has been like, that girl is so sweet. I don't even really know what to say other than like, that's the kind of person that you want on your side. If you watched and tuned in last season when JD Irby came on my show and he talked about his sister, Jatara is his sister. And he just talked about how supportive she is, how involved she is, how kind and uplifting she is. You know, she says, I'm a quick thinker, but she's quick on her feet too. Y'all should have saw her helping me blow up the balloons at this party. <laughs> but seriously, Jatara, I'm so grateful to have met you, to know that, you know, we instantly clicked and became community because that was my whole purpose anyway. And I really do hope that everything that you have in mind, every desire that you have in your heart, girl, I hope that it comes to fruition, seriously. Okay, y'all, I'm gonna just check one more time, make sure I ain't forget nobody because I don't want nobody to be coming like, you ain't read my comments. That is it, you guys. Um, wow, I honestly feel like I have to frame these. I mean... I can't even believe that so many people left me such positive notes. Like, you guys have no idea what it means to me to know that you are standing behind me, rocking with Room 1002, as we really do head to the top. And for everybody who has yet to get on board, I kind of feel sorry for you because you're missing a great thing. But seriously, you guys do not forget to like and share this video, subscribe. If you have ever wanted to share some kind words with me and didn't get an opportunity to make it to the event, I would love to read it in the comments. And hey, if you can think of anyone who you know needs to be spotlighted right here on Room 1002, your girl is always looking and always hungry for more. So listen, until next time, stay tuned because the very first exclusive is coming up in just a couple of weeks. Peace and love, y'all.